Welcome to the studio, it's Froyal here. I'm so glad you've joined me. Now, 100 days of collage really is a bunch. <laughs> but I'm halfway there, I'm so excited. Now, it is taking me longer than 100 days and that's okay, but I am going to do 100 collages. I have 14 themes. We just finished theme seven. Oh, and I'm pretty excited. So do you wanna see the first 51 collages? Of course you do. <laughs> what I particularly like about this series is that it's so diverse. Each theme is so open to interpretation and watching what other people create in my Facebook group really is so incredibly fascinating. I like the way with each theme and each prompt, it can be realistic or it can be completely abstract or it can be a mix of both. And that's really fun. Having a diverse expression of your creativity really does stretch your boundaries of what you know to create. And that increases your creativity when you step outside your comfort zone and you create something new or you work with a different subject or even different materials. I absolutely love it. So which ones do you like the best and which themes do you like? Do you think I should repeat it again next year or are we sick of this theme? It's a really good question. <laughs> For me, there's a few of these themes that I've really enjoyed. Some of them I've struggled with a little bit, but not too much. I'm definitely more leaning towards the abstract creation of the little artworks. Of course, I absolutely loved the doors theme in the first week. That was so much fun. And I had so many to work with from my beautiful travels to Venice. But there's something to enjoy about each theme and each prompt. It's a matter of allowing yourself to experiment and to step outside the boundaries of what you normally like to create. I think that's the benefit of having a prompt or taking on a challenge. In fact, the time theme that I just finished, I really enjoyed more than I thought I would. I only had one time stencil, but it worked out really well and all of the seven collages look absolutely beautiful. I think that's because, yes, I do like abstract art. Although the floral collages turned out quite beautiful using those stencils from Elizabeth St. Hilaire, they turned out really nice and it's quite a really simple technique. I'm enjoying this series so much and I promise it won't take me as long to get through the second 50 as it took to get through the first. <laughs> Sometimes life just gets a little bit hectic. So I hope you're joining me in this fabulous creative adventure. You can watch all of these collages either here on YouTube or on Patreon and it'll be under the hashtag 100 days of collage 23 or in the YouTube playlist of the same name 100 days of collage 23. I'll leave a link to the playlist so you can click on it because you don't want to miss out on any of these beautiful collages. Thanks for joining me on this fabulous creative adventure. Don't forget you can join my private Facebook group and see what everybody else is creating. See you again next time in the studio.